Just over seven weeks later, and a Stebbins High School student is up and walking following a heart transplant. Well, she had a heart attack during track practice and has been recovering at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center ever since. Two News reporter Riley Phillips has sat down with her mother following up with what's next in this recovery journey. Ebony Sherwood continues to recover here at UC Medical Center. Her mom tells me she's able to do a lot more on her own and she's starting to act more like herself. Like two steps forward, one step back but she is making progress. Ebony Sherwood is up and walking. This is just part of her recovery as she relearns how to move her body and do basic tasks. It's a relief for her mom, Beverly, seeing her daughter coming to life again. The last two weeks have been like leaps and bounds, um, just being able to like feed herself and like eating regular food again, um, using her voice and um, being able to like speak up for herself. Ebony suffered a heart attack at track practice back in March, and it's been a little over a month since she received a new heart. Her mom never could have imagined this would be their lives right now, but she's trying to make the most of it. She's just grateful her daughter is going to be okay. She said she's never felt so weak, so that's a, like a big big struggle for her, but physical therapy came in today and like she's got exercises to work on and things to strengthen like her core and her legs and then um, occupational therapy comes in and they work with her just on basic like feeding herself, texting. She's texting her friends again. Ebony is a three sport athlete and a senior at Stebbins High School. She was planning to go away for college in the fall, but she made the difficult decision to start classes closer to home while she continues to get her strength back. She's like the first one that was really going to go away to go to school. So she was kind of upset that she isn't doing that. But I think having people like she knows a lot of people going to Sinclair and Wright State, so she'll still have friends that are nearby. While Ebony's recovery is far from over, her mom says they're looking forward to getting back to their lives at home. She says they could not have gone through this difficult process without the kindness of the UC medical staff and the support from the community. There's um, some places that like we've heard of but never been there or like friends that own companies that are helping us out. So. You know, Giovanni's and K Cope and Love and the Milton Club just reached out. One of our friends is there and just seeing all of the people that are like wanting to get involved and help is like really a blessing. And they're hoping Ebony will be able to leave soon. She'll have to spend some time at a rehab center first and then she'll finally be able to go home. In Cincinnati, Riley Phillips, 2 News.